TB doesn't have industry throwing billions of dollars at it, and yet it's a disease that kills more people than any other pathogen. We have to work together as a global community to find a preventive vaccine that works against this pathogen. Can we use something we call a controlled human infection model, where we deliberately infect people, not with TB, but with a, a surrogate, if you like? We're giving here BCG as a challenge agent, as an infection, as an alternative to giving TB. Our volunteers either receive a vaccine or not receive a vaccine, and then be given the BCG to see if we infect them. The idea is that if you've had a vaccine, you will clear the BCG quicker so you might be able to show there's a protective effect from having the vaccine. I am having a bronchoscopy as part of a TB trial to see how my body's reacted to an aerosolised vaccine that I had two weeks ago, to potentially be a part of something that's helping people that are impacted by this and their families. Like that is something that would, yeah, I'd feel proud about. Happily for the world, COVID was a relatively easy pathogen to make a vaccine for. There was one protein that we knew we had to target with the vaccine. TB has 4,000 such proteins, and it's very difficult to work out which of those should be included in a new vaccine. For trials that take 20,000 subjects, and more importantly, cost half a billion dollars, we can't do, as a field, very many of those studies. If we can test lots of vaccines in these human challenge models, we can see which vaccines look best and then prioritise which vaccines go through to those phase three trials to eventually tackle this epidemic.